everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to plant some <coughs> sorry um tulips daffodils and alliums these are just from the last year bulbs i had i haven't bought bought anything because i didn't have time as you know i'm doing college now so i don't really have time so this is just a day to just plant all the um spring bulbs and look so curious they're always curious. I will show you. I have packed them and they are really alright, my bulbs. So the thing is that I've just, you know, digged up all the uh, gladiolus bulbs. And I will link a video below how to dig up gladiolus bulbs. And I will show you that really nice size bulbs now because they're like in two years in the ground. So now I'm going to just show you first what I've got. So in this, I haven't labeled that but I know this is alliums and these are the tulip double mixed which is the oh a bulb fell out so the, these are the tall mixed and um, not the double mixed it's just a, you know a single petal one and then I have also got some double mix the one with the double colors and really beautiful and many petals and these are the daffodils from like two three years now <laughs> nearly three years so in this i'm going to plant just a tall mixed one the single variety so all of them in the ground so i'm going to just dig up the hole and just keep watching them really nicely and store them for one year really nicely <coughs> sorry that's actually really good and I'm many I bought like 20 of them and then lost it in multiplied so much that I have now many of them to actually begin to grow that's why I just wanted to plant them really quickly in this hole I made and then I'm going to just scatter them around in the whole front yard just the front yard, front yard this year So the way to plant it, um, bulb, I'm going to show a bigger one. So the way to plant this is just the flat side is the bottom where the root will grow, and the top one where the growth is. Obviously, I know now where the top is. There is the flower. So you just need to put them like that. You need to just leave a little bit gap between the bulbs, just to make them make sure that they don't rot when they are close together and they so I will also plant a smaller one in hope of that they also bloom Roses, so I thought why not just plant some in front of them as well they actually look really pretty so do not touch the 
you know the corner and the wall of the pot as the plants can really grow faster and then be laggy because of the heat there we get so the tubers looks like that really pretty and we'll just a small amount left but there are really many Planted some tall mix right here on here as well. And now we'll try to plant double mixed mm. in the front yard, but where the coldest was, and that will look really pretty. Basically, here I'm um, take the plants out. Variety, so you may get to see how they look like if I got the paper. It's actually really nice ones. This is how they look like. They're actually double mixed, so I may just plant all of them here if that's possible. That's how the bulb looks like. I want to just nice bulbs. Just push them here. actually slowing a little bit those are the alliums there's so many bulbs as well that I bought uh, 12 bulbs just 12 and it'll be like multiple <laughs> here because I'm just trying to you know shake off all the nasturtium seeds seeds look like that shake them off because they will just grow and grow self seed themselves so just think shake them like that let's throw the pot away here as well so I will just plant my aliens actually right here.
so these are the daffodils and I bought like just three bulbs just in a cup and then they multi multiply so much that so there's a petunia so they multiplied so much that uh, I just don't need to buy anything more and uh, the thing is I will just plant the daffodils here because I really want them to actually naturalize just here's you know coleus dead coleus planting my spring bulbs I'll be showing you a tool oh, here's gonna stay like that so I finished planting them and here's the daffodils the double mix tulips the tall mix tulips there's a bulb here a dead one and then tall mixed tall mixed then we have alliums and alliums there so that's it so really hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you later in the next video bye so it's really messy in the conservatory because i have done nothing and i'm trying to overwinter many things thing is i wanted to show you look at the size of the bulbs the gladiolus bulbs, I just dug them up and they're really big size and I'm, I'm not just going to grow them next year as well. I really love them. Just going to show you some petunia overwintering, lavender and I found two avocado plants growing outside in minus 5 degrees. Can you believe that? And it was snow from last, last week and yesterday. Just normal color, oh, this one is healthier. It was, I just found like, I thought it was weeds, I found like two sticking out and I just pulled them out and I saw really, you know, the stone, avocado stone and it was growing. I actually remember throwing them for compost, but it didn't work out. I think they just wanted to live. So that's it. The lavenders are growing well. Um, geraniums. It's really enjoying everything over wintering. And it's snowing right now outside. You might not be able to see that. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time.